Huntington Beach with Drew. Drew, let me make sure it's on. Chris. And Chris. So uh, you guys, three questions, okay? You can only choose one of the three anyways as you live your life on a worldview that you stand on, you hold your position on everything you think and how you do and how you move and just knowing what your being is, why you're alive, right? So the first question is, did God monotheism, that, that, was there a personal God that created this universe, one, or two, pantheism, that, that mother God or everything has God in it in this universe or then everything has God in it, even you, everything you see, or three, atheism, there is no God. What do you I believe in? I believe number two. Number two, pantheism. Yeah. I mean, I, I I know it's definitely one or two, but I wasn't there, so, right. you know, it's, it's kind of hard to say for sure, so I'm going to go with number two, yeah. Okay, and how about you? I don't know, man. Those are hard questions. I just, like believe the universe is its own like power and force and now think about this there's justification for what we believe right when you say my wife loves me you got to have justification for that i know she does because she's done this she's done this right i mean i've just been given a lot of second chances with a lot of things um you know i've had a few surgeries and um i've been close to death a few times so you know that's brought me closer in a way and kind of opened my eyes a little bit and Got you I don't know. Thinking, yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. Good, good. How about you? Did you ever have any justification for what you believe? Like you said, they're they are tough questions to grapple. Oh, you know? Yeah, man. Like I mean, just looking out there, I didn't create those waves. I didn't create that sky. I didn't create that sand. Anything like that, man. You know. And the atheist says it just dropped, like like matter just came from nothing. Even though it was a singularity, a moment, they're saying that it just came from nothing and just boom, all this power that created this whole universe of billions and billions of stars and billions and billions of galaxies, you know? So think about this as far as pantheism. One thing I thought about when I was trying to do the same thing, grapple with these questions, I thought everything within this universe had to be created outside of the universe because you have time, space, and matter. And in this universe, whatever it may be that's in this universe, even if you believe in Mother God or some type of deity in this universe, it was inside time, space, and matter. The question is, what was outside a time, space, and matter? And, and, and the Christianity God says, I'm the only one declared that, that I'm outside. You know, this is 2,000 years ago, almost 3,000 years. He's been declaring on this old historic book that everyone thinks is just crazy. Here he is declaring that, hey, what I say is true and that I was outside of time and ex nihilo. I caused things to be by my word. I just made them happen. Now, think about this, though. You're talking about getting second chances. The God of the Bible, he says this, the Christianity God, he says this, man, you're created with worth, value, and dignity. With that worth and value becomes uh, accountability. Who am I and who am I accountable to? And God says, if I created you, I'm righteous and holy, and I created you because I don't lie. I expect you not to lie. Because I don't steal, I don't expect you to steal. But with that accountability, it seems like every one of us in the human race, we break on the Ten Commandments, right? Like if I asked you, have you ever lied, what would you say? Uh, definitely, yeah. And what do we call someone that lies? A liar. A liar, right? So we've all broken the Ten Commandments. But God says this, on pantheism. I think, it's, I think it's just overall how you live your life. If you're, yeah. you know, a good person overall, everybody's going to make mistakes and right. you live from them. But, um, you know, if you decide to live the other way and uh, you know once you're dead and gone you might have to deal with the consequences yeah. just like you would if you were well, alive. take a moment to think about this pantheism as, as i hear all the religions on pantheism they say you have to work your way get rid of the flesh get one with the atoms get one with your spirit but you have to work to get rid of the badness in you right the Christianity God, he says, listen, I don't want, you're tainted already. You already lied to you. You already have sin in you. You're tainted. I don't need that from you. He goes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, pay the price for you. And as I hung there, I paid the price for all your sin. And now I'm coming to you as a gift and saying, this is a free gift that you could have, be forgiven of all the sins. Rather than working your way up, you just take hold of that gift. If you're going down on an airplane 
and it was ready to crash and there's only two parachutes and the guy comes on the radio and says listen there's two parachutes by the door and you're the only two in there forget about the pilot he's got his own way of ejecting right and then he hangs up the radio what's the first thing you're going to do being built into your seat grab it. Yeah. yeah and what are you going to do are you just going to grab it yeah, I'm gonna put it on. Like, You're gonna strap it on, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Strap in, go for a ride, man. That's right. And that's the same thing with the gift of God. He says, listen, I've done everything. All you have to do is grab that gift, strap it on, eternal life, and it's a free gift. But people want to think that it's hard. It's somehow I can have to do a lot of works to get there. Yeah. And God's saying, no, I created you. I came down, paid the price for you as a man. I came down here, and it's a free gift. So, hey, I thank you for your time. All right, take it easy. Let me, let me give you a free movie here. You guys go check it out. This guy